Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I want to create a video uh, showing you the basics on uh, creating columns. So um, uh, you can actually do this kind of stuff with your columns. You see how I have this text wrapped around a box with two columns, then I have three columns here, uh, then I have another text box in between two columns. This, this are just the basics what you can do with columns and at the end I'm going to show you this thing that it's not I created my own columns and you see how I can make those I, I combine all three columns so you have one two three and this one are all interacted with each other that's going to be a different video but let me show you how simple it is to use columns. So I'm going to create a new document. And in this document, I'm just going to uh, put some random text. So if I put equal R-A-N-D for random text, I'm going to open parentheses. I'm going to put 60 paragraphs with, uh, let's say, four uh, sentences per paragraph. Close my parentheses. And it created this document. OK? So. Uh, that created seven pages of text for me. So now, if I go in here, go to my layout, go to columns, I'm gonna change all my text into two columns, okay? So, and it's real simple. You just click here, go to columns, you got two columns. If you want three columns, you go to columns, three columns, and so forth, okay? And it's evenly distributing the columns with, uh, with the gutter in between each one of them. So now you can further, you can do five, six, seven columns, whatever you want, right? But now let me show you this other little feature they have. You have left column. You see it's creating two columns. The left one is small and then the, the right one is larger and it goes throughout the document. Or Let's say that you want the right one to be large and the left one to be small. You would click here. Now you got a right column, large right column, and small right column. And let's justify this so it kind of looks a little bit better. Okay, so now uh, so let's say that I wanted to create my own. Uh, let's say my own uh, size from here to here and from here to here. So I could go into my columns, go to more columns, and I could go in here and change this thing right here. So let's say that I thought this was way too big and I wanted it to be uh, 3.75 from here to here. So I can go in here now this is going to get a little bit bigger on this side so if I hit 3.75 you're going to see this column here get smaller and this one get larger so I'm going to hit OK You see this one got smaller and this got bigger now you can also make this column smaller with a bigger gutter right so if you go to columns and this time, instead of putting 0.5, I'm going to make this gutter a little bit bigger, so it's going to push everything to the right. So I'm going to put 1, enter. You see, now I got a 1 inch with a smaller gutter on the right-hand side. Also, let's say I want to line in between both gutters. I can go to columns, more columns, click on this thing here. This is line between, and now you have a line between the gutters. Okay, so those are, you know, that's the basics. Um, so let's go ahead and remove that line. And now we're going to put four gutters, okay? So if I go to column, more columns, uh, I'm going to tell it four. And it will, right now, it's giving me a larger 
gutter here because that's originally how we told it, right? So we're going to do that for right now just to show you something. So now you're going to have three equally gutters and one large gutter. So I want four equal gutters. So if I click here, go to columns, go to more, this time I'm going to tell it equally, uh, equal column width. So if I hit OK, now every one of my gutters are the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my margins and change my gutter, uh, the outside gutters uh, to be one quarter of an inch. Now let's say that I want to um, make my body, uh, the columns bigger. I can go to columns, more columns, and if I make this one's bigger, since I have equal columns, then my gutters are going to be a little bit smaller. So instead of 1.59, I'm going to say 1.6. And you can see it here, it's changing, right? Uh, columns, let's go to more columns. Um, 1.65 hit OK and it changed it right? not a bunch because I didn't tell it a lot okay so that's how you can change things okay let me see here let me see if I've gone over most of your column stuff um, you know you can go in here and right now it's changing everything the whole document, right? Let's say that you were okay with the first page having four columns, but the rest of the pages you only wanted three columns. What you would actually have to do is go to your first page at the end of the page. So let's say this is where you want it to end. You would have to go in here and go to um, layout, tell it break, and then click on this thing that says next page so now anything past that I can go in here and change my um, my go, uh, columns as long as I select on this side I can go into columns more co uh, columns and we're going to change it to three hit OK now you notice everything past that line now has three columns equally let's say that after this page I only want uh, two columns I go in here remember I have my my insertion key right here right I'm gonna hit break next page when I go to the next page um, so we got five three then here I'm going to want two columns. So go to columns, more columns, change that to a two. Okay, now we got four, three, two, and let's say at the last, at, then after this second column, I only want one column. Again, you go to break, next page, delete that extra space, and go to columns. This time I'm going to tell it one column. Now, we have um, four, three, two, and one column at the rest of it. Okay, so those are the basic ones. So now let's just hit Control Z until we get all of our back to uh, the regular text. Okay, so another thing you can do, let's say you have this column here. You, you're okay with one column, but then the next two columns you want it, uh, the next two sentences you want to turn them into two columns. You select it, you go to columns, you tell it two, and now it changes it into two columns. So now uh, you can hit enter here and click here, hit enter, and what you can do, like you can put a line in between both of this, uh, uh, like the first paragraph and the two columns, by going in, going to your home, 
um, click in here and put a bottom border there, excuse me let me see okay go in here click here and I'll put a top border right here do the same thing click here hit top border you can separate them like that if you want it you don't have to so now that has two columns right so I'm gonna hit a return here and then this time I want three columns one two three so from here to here I want it to turn it into three column you go to layout column three now you got you got uh, two you got three columns here and uh, so that's the basics now there is something that you can create manually now you have to watch my other videos for that because it's gonna I try to make my video short and uh, like right now if I wanted to move this like let's say I wanted to evenly distribute all of this it's not letting me right because I don't have an anchor point to uh, to move up and down let me show you what I'm talking about so I created this document I just threw it together at the end this is what I'm talking about so you see if I click here you see how here let, let, let me move this text box a little bit lower so you can see what I'm doing so if I click here look at my text you see how it evenly distributes throughout those three columns but in the same time is grabbing some of this text and pushing it over this way I I uh, manually told uh, the text to go from here to here to here to here and this is you see let's say I wanted it like that you can go in here and do stuff like that so there's other ways of adding text and, and I'm, I'm just going to do this one last thing real quick because those are other videos uh, I just don't want you to think that that's the only way to create columns so if you go to insert you go to table you let's say you add three uh, three and three and you let go now I can I can go in and make those even I can make them smaller I can text inside this oops this is a sample okay so I, here I can put I'm just copying that I can add to each one of this boxes right or I can keep on adding to the box and I can add text to that box I can go in here on all of this and alter all the text like I'm gonna center it or I can flush it to the right I can flush it to the left uh, there's a lot of things you can do but the, you know that's the, I just wanted to show you the basics because I don't want you to think that the first way I showed you by going into your layout and creating columns that is not the only way you can create columns thank you for watching my video if you like this give me a thumbs up and uh, I will show I will uh, see you on the next video and you'll see me manually create these things here and also I'll create some uh, some uh, this kind of text here thanks for watching my video again